Another horror final 10 minutes has taken the gloss off what was a dominant Manly Seagulls performance for 70 minutes. Despite the alarming thing they've done again when they've almost choked another lead. This time even bigger and in a shorter amount of time than the, Mel than the North Queensland Cowboys won. Sorry. They have caused a massive upset. Great to see. Manly have proven that they can stick with these top four teams in the past two weeks. And they've gotten back to what they were so good at last year. Fast and risky footy. And if you can put enough points up, you can get the win. But you need to be able to defend it. And oh my god, Des has done it again. Look, I know you can't blame a coach for that. But that's twice now where Josh Alloway was hooked and given the rest in the Cowboys game. And the Cowboys came on to come back. Jake Javoyevich was hooked for the Manly Seagulls, and the Melbourne Storm almost came back. So, look, I don't know if it's the players thinking when Desi makes these decisions that they can, that's the end of the game. If Desi's thinking that, then surely they've got to be home. But something's got to change because that cannot happen again, especially if they want to go on to play finals football. But still, got to take a lot of confidence in the fact that they dominated the Cowboys for 70 minutes who could be a top two side by the end of the weekend and they were able to dominate the Melbourne Storm for 70 minutes who came into this team in the top two so Manly proved that they can hang with the top teams outside of the Penrith Panthers because I just think they're on a completely different level they're playing fast, they're playing risky, they're playing like they did last year Ruben Garrick is improving at fullback so much and a lot of their plays have improved out of sight, got that confidence back. So great job by Desi to get the confidence back in the boys. You'd think that maybe when they lost Tommy for the season, it was going to be a write-off for him. But they're definitely still in the hunt for the top eight. They now move into the top eight on the live ladder. That'll probably change with some games in hand for the other teams like the Dragons, like the Raiders, who actually play each other, and the Sydney Roosters. But... I've got to give a lot of credit to Lachlan Croker. I think he's been the best player on the field despite Manly losing to the Cowboys and then Manly beating the Melbourne Storm. Big alarming signs, though, for Manly that last 10 minutes. But Melbourne, look, that looks lost without Munster. No alarm bells for Melbourne. We've seen what they can do. And honestly, I still think that they will be in the grand final, but they will not beat Penrith because Penrith are on a completely different level. But a good performance by some of their players. Pappy was a bit iffy on return, but we saw Pappenhausen last year. It takes him a bit to get back into it. Cheese was good in his 100th, and so was Nelson Asafa Solomona. Melbourne will be very disappointed, but thank God Manly held on, because if they didn't win, I don't know where I would be right now. But in all serious, nice, serious guys, sorry, we are on the way to 3,000 subscribers, so please smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's completely free. Comment down below your thoughts on the game and smash that like button for more Rugby League content.